Yo, I'm Dad Brother Nez. Dropping another vlog on y'all. This is my third one. So uh, I think I'm, I think I'm uh, getting the hang of this. You know, got the lighting situation. Hopefully, everything works the way it's supposed to work. Uh, I think I'm getting, I think I'm getting the hang of this. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well. Just to just to kind of start it off, you know, I got my wrestling going on in the background. You know, I always got my wrestling. You know, that's what that's what I do right now. Watch watching a little NXT from yesterday. I watch it on Hulu and stuff. You know, I hate I hate the commercials. I told you all that. You know, in the last couple of vlogs, I hate I, I hate the hate the commercials. So you see me looking over here occasionally. That's because you know I'm talking to you guys. I'm talking to my man's in them. And you know, who hit me up? Uh, somebody on Facebook. And I'm watching, uh, catching up on my, a little bit of my NXT going on here. Oh, what's this? Holy cow. The Hype Bros? Zack Ryder, and who's his other cat? That's why I like this, man, because you can't keep nobody down. Like, I was just watching Main Event yesterday. And, and Zack Ryder was just with uh, Fandango. And got their butts handed to them by uh, that new uh, Gallows and Anderson. But I'll touch on that. I'll touch on all that stuff later. But uh, this is my first vlog since um, the Icon Prince died. Now I know there's a lot of people who, um, when someone passes away of such, you know, iconic status as Prince or anyone for that fact, they usually are in a rush to put out some type of video. You know, I'm trying to get myself on some little schedule going on here. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to go about that. Is that Val Venus? You look just like Val Venus from back in the day. Oh, sorry about that. But, um, I just wanted to touch base, you know, on that a little bit. You know, Prince, he was definitely one of the best, if not the best, you know, that did it, you know. It's, it's a shame all the, all the big people, all the good people are dying. They're, they're, they're being taken from us. You got Michael Jackson, you got Whitney Houston, Prince. I mean, there's various others, you know, a lot of people probably say that I should have said this person and that should have said that person, but you wanna know something? It's all about what person means something to you and I know growing up, it was all about the little feud between Michael Jackson and Prince. It's all my mom and my aunts and everybody would always talk about Prince this, Michael Jackson this, Purple Rain, blah, 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 Thriller, this, that, you know. So uh, I grew up knowing all about that. I grew up listening to their music and, you know, t you know, to this day, I still listen to all their music, you know. My, um, my favorite song by Prince is When Doves Cry. I would love to play you a little bit of it, but unfortunately with YouTube copywriting laws, I can't exactly do that. But just know that When Doves Cry is my all-time, you know, Prince song. I mean, there's various others. I mean, he's got a long, you know, list of songs. And then I'm pretty sure anyone can name, knock off, you know, songs like this. Oh, I like this song. I like this song. I like that song. But my song... When Doves Cry, without a doubt, When Doves Cry. Also, I don't want to look over this person because also the same day we had uh, WWF, not E, WWF wrestling superstar China. This is before it switched over to WWE. She was a WWF superstar. I want to make sure I point that out because everybody keeps saying WWE this, WWE that. No. She wasn't with the company when they switched to WWE. She had already left the company. She was with it when back when, I'm gonna say when it was really, really good. Not that it's not good now, but when it was really, really good. Uh, back when it was the WWF. Um, China, she passed away. Autopsy report is still, you know, pending on that, just like it is on Prince, you know. But uh, I just, want to say you know uh china she's one of my she was actually one of my favorite wrestlers you know i mean there there was a list i mean i, I can i can name off you know uh, a bunch of wrestlers like goldberg 
Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, The Ultimate Warrior. The list goes on and on, but it's not about that. We're talking about China right now. China, she's the, literally, she is the best diva that did it. I don't even want to call her a diva. She was a wrestling superstar because she's the only one that literally took on guys and beat guys. You, you get what I'm saying? She won the Intercontinental Championship. She's the only woman in, the, in wrestling that's ever won the Intercontinental Championship, which is, predominant, which is pretty much a, 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 a male title. You know, um, you know the women's have their own women's title. The you know WWF championship, WWE championship, w women's diva championship. You know, it, it it changed names numerous times throughout the years. Right now, they finally got it right. They're calling it the WWE women's championship, which is what it should have been called from day one. If, I mean, in my opinion, but some argue that some will say they miss it being the divas. This and you know. You know, the the um, WWE or WWF World Championship. You don't hear them saying, you know, a, a name for the man's. It's it's Sister WWE man, uh, a World Championship, uh, WWE US Championship, or Intercontinental Championship, or Tag Team Championship. <coughs> I mean, obviously, you can't call it the same thing for women because it's the female version. So you gotta let them know it's the female version, but you don't have to. The diva, in my opinion. Yeah, it served its purpose, calling the Divas Championship, but I think it's run its course. It, it's 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 the way it should be right now. It's the Women's Championship, plain simple, WWE Women's Championship. And if China was still here, she'd be the longest reigning championship because she'd probably still have it from back in the '90s when she was, you know, holding strong. Because that that was a tough broad. Let me tell you, she uh. She she had the moves, she had the charisma. I mean, she I mean, it was wasn't nobody messing with her. I mean, right now you got these you got a lot of superstars that's coming up. You know, like I like this new chick that they got on here, Asuka. She's from Japan. She you know she seems like she's gonna. I mean, she's right now she's the NXT championship. She's the NXT women's champion, and uh, I can't wait till she comes up to to the main roster because I think she's gonna she's gonna pretty much take over because right now Charlotte is the women's championship uh, champion on uh, the, up at the main roster and um, uh, I don't know I'm not meh. me personally I you know I like it when Paige was champion um, I think Natalia should should be champion I don't think she's ever been champion um, I gotta think back um, but she should be she should technically she should be champion and I mean at the at payback she's re she's going up against you know Charlotte, but you know Rick, that's Ric Flair's daughter. Ric Flair is the dirtiest, the dirtiest uh, dude in the game. So they're gonna figure out some way to cheat and tie out that win. I mean she's gonna have Bret Hitman Hart in her corner, and hope and uh, supposedly he's supposed to be the taking taking care of the whole Flair situation. But we'll see how that goes down. We'll see how that goes down. I don't think it's gonna be enough, but. We shall see. We shall see. Um, oh, man. That, uh, I guess I kind of segued myself into a wrestling talk. Uh, I kind of wanted to focus a little more on China. Um, but y'all get it. I mean, I don't want to make this a whole somber little thing. Y'all get it. You know, she passed. May she rest in peace. She's the best that did it. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. Y'all get it. Boom. Done. Let's leave it at that. And, uh, that fast, um, the Hype Bros, with uh, Zack Ryder and whoever this other no-name dude is, they lost to some other dudes. I don't even know. It's the thing about NXT. That's the good and the bad thing about NXT. I don't know half the people on it because they're always bringing new people up, but that's a great opportunity for the people that are um, coming up. You know, they're getting the opportunity to, uh, you know, to showcase their talent and to, uh, you know, become big. Now, um, Gallows and Anderson, Bullet Club, from over at the New Japan World Wrestling over in uh, over in Japan, they was it was you know Gallows, Anderson, a couple other guys, Finn Balor when he was there, AJ Styles, which is now the number one contender. He's he's facing um, he's facing uh, 
Roman Reigns. Oh, look at this chick, Carmella Moon walking out here. You know, she's a tip. She's a looks like a typical Jersey girl. Oh, she's from Staten Island. She's the princess from Staten Island. Oh God. Okay, what's this chick all about? Well, we're about to find out if she can wrestle in a minute. I don't know who she's facing. Anyway, um, Bullet Club. I think they're trying to do something with that whole situation coming up, you know, at the pay-per-view. I think it's going to all go down at Payback this Sunday. Which, by the way, is going to let y'all know I'll be live tweeting. So, you, uh, <coughs> I don't know if you can see my screen. I got all my um, screen names for everything. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Foursquare Swarm. At K and Nesby. Um, I'll be live tweeting um, this Saturday. I mean, this Sunday at uh, during the pay per view. So uh, if you want to check that out, and the girl she's going up against, her name is just Aaliyah. And just so y'all know, she looks nothing like the R and B Aaliyah. She's some tan chick. Um, We'll see. I mean, I don't know who's going to win. This a lead chick or the Staten Island chick. Who knows? They're both new, but we'll see. Anyways, um, Finn Balor he lost to Samoa Joe. It's about time. Finn Balor is good at you know what he does and everything, but uh, it was so it was Samoa Joe's time. But I think um, me personally, I think that they should just stop BSing and just bring Samoa Joe up to the main roster. He needs to be there, just like. You know, they made, you know, they. Had, I'm sure that's the reason why Finn Balor lost, so they could bring him up to the main roster. And uh, and that's the whole thing that brings me back to the Bullet Club thing I was talking about. The Bullet Club was originally AJ Styles, Gallows, and Anderson. And But I think they're going to do something with keeping AJ Styles a good guy and then have Finn Balor come up and it'll be like the, something like the Balor Club. And he's going to hook up with Gallows and Anderson and they're going to be bad guys. Or heels, as they call them, and and AJ Styles gonna re, uh, re, um, remain to be a good guy or babyface, as they like to call it. Um, and Roman Reigns is just the guy, as he keeps saying. That's starting to get boring, if you ask me. But anyway, um, I think maybe Roman Reigns joins the Bullet Club or Baylor Club, whatever how that ever happens. And I think somehow the Shield get back together, and Maybe AJ Styles joins the Shield. You know, AJ Styles, uh, Seth Rollins. Somehow Seth Rollins may come back. Maybe not this one. Maybe after pay per view. But some some point he's gonna come back because if y'all remember, those who keep up with wrestling, he never lost. You know, he got hurt, but he never lost the belt. So he's still technically whenever he comes back, he's number one contender. So I'm curious on how they're gonna work all that out. Um, another. Uh, Guy, I'm going to talk about this Shinsuke Nakamura from Japan. <coughs> if you ask me, a little flamboyant, little on the huh side, I know it's all a gimmick. I know he's not, but it just, I'm not sure how they're trying to portray this guy. He's very skilled and very talented at what he does. Who's calling me? He's very skilled and very talented at what he does. Um, and uh, so I, I can't wait to see how they work with this guy because this whole situation, he, he's a very talented wrestler and so far he's undefeated since he's uh, come to NXT. So I, 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 I like this guy. I like him a lot. He's very talented. He knows what, he knows what he's doing. His, uh, his finishing move is, uh, is, is crazy. It looks like it hurts. You know, so I'm sure you have they have to practice that a lot to make sure they don't break someone's face because the speed that he's coming at your face with his knee, whoo! I can't even pronounce what they call it. It's it, I can't even pronounce what they call it, but it, but it, it looks like it hurts. And uh, his counterpart, Asuka, and we look at her, when, look, when you look at her name on the screen, it looks like Asuka, but it's pronounced Asuka. She's bad. I was talked. I touched on her a little earlier. She is, I think she could be like the next China. I mean, she's not big and built and all muscular like China. 
Oh wow, this uh, Staten Island chick's got a pretty decent submission move. Let's see how let's see how it goes with her. Anyway, Asuka. She just fought, you know, at the beginning of uh, NXT I was watching. She just fought Eva Marie. Oh my god, what a train wreck that Eva Marie. All Eva Marie is is a pretty face. That's it. That is it because she cannot wrestle. She has no talent. The only talent she has is she's good at posting pics on Instagram because let me tell you, every 10 minutes, new pic on Instagram. Every 10 minutes, new pic on Instagram. I mean, she looks good. She did, you know, the company damn sure picked, a, you know, a good diva to represent them, you know, but as far as wrestling is concerned, she has so much more learning to do. So much more because... All the moves in the, I mean, she shouldn't have even been in the ring with someone like Asuka, to be honest with you, because she made Asuka look like she couldn't, she made Asuka, Asuka literally had to dumb herself down to wrestle Eva Marie, because Eva Marie was doing straight up basic, basic moves, like flip overs, you know, run, bounce off the rope, and shoulder tackles, I mean, this is just basic moves, I mean... You can't do a whole mass like that and then turn around and try to hype up the crowd. Hey, no, no, no. Go back to freaking Florida and, and for another year and train and just pose and look pretty for all the events. You know, maybe valet for, uh, you know, a while. Put in your dues. There's a lot of divas out there like, like Lana. You know, I'm sure she knows how to wrestle. I've seen a lot of... Uh, YouTube posts and in, in, uh, Instagram posts about with Lana, how she trains and all the training she does, but you haven't seen her, you just now started seeing her wrestling a little bit in the ring. And she's not even really wrestling, she's just like doing stupid moves just to knock down some girls. But uh, she's putting in her time, she's paying her dues, she valeted for years, alright? So Eva... You're just coming into the game. You need to spend more time. You need to valet. You need to train and for at least another year or so. Before I mean, you shouldn't have you shouldn't have even been coming to work close to fighting Oscar. And that's why you got your ass whipped. One and you're, and you're but I think that was a whole gimmick there anyway because that just brought her friend out to, you know, and I think that's going to be the next match Oscar and her. But um Oh my God, I, that just makes me, that makes me upset, you know, that, that whole situation. Um, but um, I just want to touch base, you know, um, on uh, wrestling, you know, because that's what I do. Sport my Uso shirt, play hard in the paint. Usos, represent my Usos, represent my Usos, that's how I do. Usos, what's up, play hard in the paint, yeah. Um, uh, like I said before, I'll be uh, up, up, this my dude, Shinsuke Nakamura. His finishing move, King Shaza. That's how you say it. That's the knee to the face thing that he does. King Shaza. That is sick. But this my dude, yo. I can't really point the camera at the screen for uh, obviously, you know, copyright and all that stuff. So. I'll just let y'all listen a little bit and I'll get back to talking. I tell you man, he comes out, you hear his entrance music. I turn it up a little bit so you can hear. You hear his entrance music. He comes out with like a throwback Michael Jackson red leather jacket. And then he He's bouncing around doing some stuff like this. Looks like he's having a seizure while walking. Or, or <coughs> he's taking a page out of the thriller. You know, but he's, he just, and he covered up his mouth. And he comes out like this and, and, and bends back. I mean, he's very, this dude is very, very flamboyant. Extremely flamboyant. But I don't know if that's a, J a Japan thing, how the wrestlers do over there. Uh, I'll tell you what he is, he's extremely flamboyant and he's extremely talented because he can wrestle his butt off. He's a very good technical wrestler and he's got moves out the wazoo and he's the king of strong style for a reason. 
All right. I just wanted to touch on that. You know, finish up the, uh, my little wrestling talk. Uh, I'll be live tweeting payback on um, this Sunday, 8 p.m. Um, if you want to see what I have to say about all this wrestling crap as it goes on, check me out. If not, don't. Um, real quick, I just want to touch touch base on the uh, <coughs> on the elections that just happened this Tuesday. Looks like we got our two main uh, candidates. Looks like it's Hillary and Trump. Uh, well, no, let me, let me rephrase that. It's definitely Trump. Bernie Sanders, he has a slight chance of becoming a Democrat, uh, Democratic um, nominee. He basically has to win every other state from here on in order to be. If he loses one, he's done. If he loses one, he's done. He already announced he had like a thousand employees. He he uh he let go like 700. And he's down to like 300 now, and he's moving over to the to the leftover states and focusing on them. And uh, if he wins, I guess he'll hire them back to focus on because now he's running for actual president. But um, I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say. I mean, because like I said, it's like a. Uh, that'll be tough one in every state from here, you know. Eh. So, with that being said, Hillary and Trump, what y'all think about that? Mm. Like I told you before, I don't like any of the candidates. Um, I'm, I might write some shit in. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm definitely going to go out and vote. I don't know who the hell I'm voting for. I still don't know. Because um, there's... Uh, there's things that I love and hate about both candidates, but there's not enough to definitively say that I'm definitely going to vote for this candidate uh, because um, I don't like either of them. And the things I do like about them is very small. And I can say that about pretty much all the candidates. All the candidates. I mean, you know, even Bernie, Ted Cruz, and everybody else. I mean, Nah, nah. Um, this this is gonna be a tough election for me. This is really gonna be a tough election for me. I, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I mean, hopefully I could you know figure it out come November, but uh, I don't know. I, like I said, I might be writing some crap in. And uh, before I uh, before I end this video and actually focus on my wrestling that I want to watch, um, I just wanted to follow up on some of the reviews I did, you know, earlier, you know, this week, last week. Um, I, uh, let me try to find that for you. The, this right here, the Chotec Quick Charge 3.0 battery pack. Um, I, I said that I was gonna use it for a couple days and then report back to you on give you some stats on that on uh, how fast it actually charges and how many times it actually charges. Um, it's a 10,400 milliamp charger, and I charge my phone twice, and I charge my friend's iPhone 6, iPhone 6s once, and then it was dead. And then it, fi it finally died. It actually charged, so it did, you know. I'm going to say it's good for two and a half charges because, I mean, I don't know what the exact milliampage of the battery in the iPhone 6S, but I think it's like 1800 milliamps, maybe 2000. But I know the milliampage in my phone, the Note 5, the Galaxy Note 5, is 3000 milliamps. So that's why I'm going to say maybe like two and a half, two and three quarter charges on that, which I guess is good. But, um,. Let me give you a breakdown of uh, how much charge you're actually getting, you know, per uh, time. I'll be just hitting with the King Shaza. Always get you. There's no getting out of that. King Shaza. Um, 15 minutes on the charger. Now, mind you, I let my phone go all the way down to 2%. And then I plug it in. And 15 minutes on the charger, give or take, maybe 16 minutes. It had charged my phone from 2% to 29%. 30 minutes on the charger, it charged my phone from 29% to 54%. 45 minutes on the charger, from 54% to 77%. 
an hour on a charger, 77% to 89%. An hour and 15 minutes, it went up to 97%, and then it took another nine minutes for it to complete, uh, completely charge to 100%. So basically, you're looking from roughly, oh, look, they uh, gave a, in memory of, you know, China on the Raw replay on Hulu. Uh, they didn't do that on the actual Raw, but uh, whatever, that's neither here nor there. So roughly, I'm gonna say from zero to 100, I mean, my phone's at 2%, but from zero to 100%, 84 minutes. Now, that's, pr that's really good for an actual portable battery pack. That's really good for a portable battery pack. It's Quick Charge 3.0. My phone is Quick Charge 2.0. So we'll see how, once I get a 3.0 device, we'll see how much faster this thing actually charges. But I just wanted to give Tech Spacer John, give y'all an update on that. And I have one more update for you guys. Last update is on the BW Tech waterproof case for the Galaxy Note 5. Um, I don't know if any of you seen my uh, hot tub, hot tub uh, rant vlog with me and uh, my boy Big Bro Slim um, when we were talking about we were just ranting about some uh, you know some establishments that we that we've dealt with recently. Uh, you can check that out on YouTube. Um, go to youtube.com uh, slash knesby k n e s b e y. Check that out. It's the hot tub vlog. Um, I had my phone in that case and filmed the whole vlog on it. It was like 17 minutes. And I, I can assure you that that case is the real deal. It works. And the good part about it is that there's plenty of cases out there. There's plenty of waterproof cases out there that you can get for the Note 5 or for any phone. They're usually like 60, 70, 80 dollars. That case I got on Amazon for 18 bucks. 18 bucks and is just as good as any of these other $80 cases. These life proof cases, you know, these Speedgen, you know, whatever have you, all these cases that cost $60, $70, $80, some even 100 bucks out of boxes. And this, I had, you know, my hot tub is with three feet of water. I, you know, and it's heated water, so I had it in the hot tub. I'm, you know, I had it and I made sure I dropped the phone right down to the bottom of the hot tub and let it sit down there for like 10 minutes. Took it out, filmed the video. After sitting down there for 10 minutes, I submerged under the, the bubbling heated water. We, I was kicking it around with my foot and everything. You know, I wasn't kicking it hard. I wasn't trying to beat it up, but I just wanted to symbolize this slight movement while being under the water. Submerged for a period of time. And then I pulled the phone out the water started filming the video and you can judge for yourself go check out the video and it's got that case on there and it's the video came out great no problem and here's my phone my phone still works phone still works no problem you know so um <coughs> yeah I just wanted to um, talk to my peeps about a couple things uh, this is my third vlog didn't have any lighting issues like last time. So that's a good thing. So at least I figured out that whole situation, got that whole situation popping. Um, and uh, just wanted to talk to you about some things on my mind, you know. You know, talk about, you know, Prince, rest in peace, China, rest in peace. And uh, talk about my wrestling, you know, I got all that off. Got You know, the most important, I got to hang with you guys. I got to hang with my peeps. Y'all are my peeps. I look forward to talking to you guys. I just gotta pick a day when I'm definitely gonna do the vlog. Uh, normally I try to do the vlog on uh, Mondays when Raw is actually live. Cause right now this is the repeated Raw even though I saw it on Monday. It's just that's the way Hulu does. It goes through my whole queue of missed you know, videos. Um, but I had just did the hot tub vlog on Sunday. So I figured, you know, I try to space it out a little bit. So that's the reason why I'm here on Thursday doing this vlog. So um, my uh, fourth vlog will probably be back on Monday. Unless, of course, I do something else. Um, 
I'm going to be live tweeting on uh, Sunday for uh, the Payback Wrestle, uh, uh, the Payback uh, WWE event. Eight o'clock, be there. Listen to the shit that I'm talking about. I might even throw up a live stream for a couple minutes. So you might want to make sure you're there. Check it out because if I'm going to do a live stream, I'm damn sure going to let you know because I'm going to send it out on a tweet letting you know exactly when that live stream is going to be. So if y'all want to be a part of that, make sure y'all y'all uh, get with me on Sunday. That's uh, twitter.com slash knesby. I'll be live tweeting. I just wanted to say two things because we just found out that them boys, that's right, Dallas Cowboys, we just drafted, because today's NFL draft, you know, I, I meant to touch on that before, but we just drafted Ezekiel Elliott. That's right, we got Zeke. What's up now, bruhs? What's up? We got Zeke. What? Last thing is I didn't show you this before, because uh, I don't think you can see it on the screen, because the screen's pretty bright. So I just want to show you where you can follow me at. These are all my social media sites there. That's uh, pretty much YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Foursquare, at K Nesby. Just like that, all right? Now, with that being said, for real this time, I'm that brother Nez, and I'm out this piece. For real though.